Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sim Market Spotlight Review for under 5 minutes. My name is Adam. Today we're taking a look at Sault Ste. Marie Airport in Canada from Scenery Builders. The link to the product is in the description box below. Uh, usually goes for 15 euros, sometimes it's on sale for a tenner. And this came out in 2020 for all versions of P3D and FSX. Uh, St. Marie Airport is an international airport located 8 nautical miles west southwest of the city of Salt Saint Marie, Ontario, Canada, at the far eastern end of Lake Superior and the beginning of the St. Mary's River. The Canadian government opened the airport in 1961 and it operated until 1998, when it was handed control over to the newly formed Salt Saint Marie Airport Development Corporation under the terms of the National Airports Policy. And that same group opened Runway Park in 2002, an entertainment and recreation area on unused airport property to help generate revenue to support the airport's operation. Now, like I said, this is available for all versions of FSX and P3D. I'm showing it here in version 5, and that is why you're seeing these little weird white things everywhere. That's the lighting in FSX. Uh, like in FSX, it will actually look appropriate, but in version 5, the lighting's handled differently, so it does look a bit wonky. But this airport actually does work fine. Um, it, I, like, <laughs> not many people have done this airport. If, in fact, nobody has. Like, only scenery builders have. So to have this airport is like you know in any state is a bonus. I gotta say, like, the textures themselves aren't like a hundred percent, you know, to what they could be. This was clearly made for FSX. Um, in fact, the developers used to be called FSX Scenery Builders. They changed it to Scenery Builders when Microsoft came out. But I do recommend this airport, to be honest. I give it a 3 out of 5, but it is because, it, like, it is worth it, mainly because it, it's the only representation of this airport for P3D. So, um, if you're wanting to do some Canadian ops or fly up north, at least you've got something and in all honesty it it does what it needs to do um so yeah i highly recommend it the link to the product is in the description box below sometimes they do have an offer on in fact right now as of recording this video there is an offer on literally half off for another eight days um which by the time this video comes out you might have missed actually but they do that on a regular um Scenery Builders does actually have quite a lot of airports that are sort of not known airports. They're sort of hidden little gems. So I, I recommend go checking them out, to be honest, if you're interested. Um, it, it, it is highly worth it. I, I mean, there's not a lot to talk about this airport, in all honesty. It was made for FSX. It hasn't got a lot of the features that version 5 can display, like dynamic lighting, um, PBRing, and stuff like that. But... It, it, this is a, uh, a good effort and a good job, you know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I give away Sim Market vouchers every single month at the end of the month. Um, all you have to do to be in with a chance is um, be a subscriber to my channel and put comments down below in any one of my P3D videos. And at the end of every single month, I go live with a vlog and announce who has won the 50 euros to spend on anything on the sim market thank you so much for watching this take care and i shall see you later alligator bye